Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And shine within your people.
Friends, as you know, we started this pandemic living last year, this time, during Lent. I was one of those people that held on to the hope that we would be together by Easter, which, as you also know, turned out to not be the case. However, we are Easter people. We are resurrection people. We know that death and fear and greed and scarcity and hurt and brokenness will not win. But for now, it may feel like all of these broken forces still have the upper hand. In this season of Lent, let us name and claim those times, yes, even with the vaccine and hope very much on the horizon, that are still hard for many. Let us claim that though we are Easter people, we are still very much living through Lent to get to the dawn of Easter morning. Let us name and claim where there are still disappointments, hurts, and heartbreaks because of the pandemic. So, on our pre-recorded service of Hold an Evening Prayer through Lent, we will continue to hear from some of the people of Nativity and how they are coping with the pandemic and where they feel loss, but also where they feel hope and still hold on to faith in the midst of a pandemic. But before we continue with our brief interview, a reading from Revelation chapter 21. This is my personal adaptation. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and all that was chaos was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne say, saying, See, the home of God is among all of God's creation, humans, animals, and all the earth. God will be in this place, and the people, the animals, and the environment will all be held closely to God. God will be here among all of it. And God will wipe every tear from every eye, and God will heal every broken heart. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. Coronavirus and isolation will be no more. Anger and grief will be no more. The walls that divide us from each other and the walls that divide us from ourselves will be no more. For all the broken and sinful things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, look, I am making all things new. Write it all down. You can count on it. Each word I say is dependable and accurate. Here ends the reading. Hey, church friends, I'm here with one of our members, Lee Holland, to talk with her about how life has been going in this pandemic year. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lee, um, what has life been like for you during this year of the pandemic? Or what would you like to share with us about your life during the pandemic? <laughs> Well, uh, how much time do you have? No. <laughs> no, really. um, so things have been um, good, um, crazy. We, um, most everyone knows we are a licensed foster family. So throughout this year, we have had four children come in and out of our home. We have two extras right now, um, but it's, it's been lonely. Um, it's been hard um, between some of our family being medically complex and fragile. Um, it's been hard and we've had lots of times have felt very alone. Um, but otherwise it's been going good. Got lots of family time, <laughs> which is a good thing, but yeah. Yeah. And you and I've kind of chatted back and forth about that. Um, and, and like, I so want to come over and hug and play with your babies and, <laughs> give you a break. And of course, just waiting to be vaccinated so that I can do that safely. Um, yes. your foster kiddos who are, I mean, who are amazing. They're all medically fragile too. So like you have to take that into account and it does sound lonely and isolating. Yeah, but 
you know, we have definitely found ways to, um, <laughs> we've been very creative in how we have been able to see family and see friends. And um, so in that way, you know, it's been nice to build those relationships mm -hmm. with people outside of our family. Um, we've had lots of things left at our doorstep, which is fine. <laughs> um, and yeah, but um, we're looking forward to things getting better and more people being vaccinated and um, just to feel the, the love from outside. Absolutely. Um, with your complex and chaotic life this year, um, have you or your family, have you had to deal with any like major disappointments or major heartbreaks that you're still trying to function through other, of course, than just lack of contact with family and friends, which is huge enough as it is. Um, well, I guess as silly as it may seem, um, we were able to officially adopt our son um, as of June 1st. And so we weren't able to have a celebration. You know, we brought him home when he was three weeks old and went through the ups and downs of foster care, which obviously, you know, very well. Yeah. Um, and we weren't able to have a celebration with our family <laughs> and friends and all the people who have supported us the whole way through. Um, so, like I said, as silly as that may be, that's that's very heartbreaking to us because we want to just scream it from the rooftops. He yeah. is ours forever. I know. Um, you know, and we have um, lost a few um, friends, um, not necessarily to COVID, but just to be able to you know, celebrate the lives of people that have meant a lot to us. That's hard. Um, you know, just kind of grieve in your own way. Um, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah. But it's also one of those things that like, like disappointments are disappointments. Right. And mm -hmm. so like your disappointment of, again, you and I both know the journey from to foster to adopt really well, as our son is also from the foster care system. Um, and people, some people just don't get like that big milestone. And uh, so I think that's really interesting in the midst of the pandemic is that just trying to listen to other people's disappointments and count them as valid because like the stuff you've lost is valid in your life yeah. and in your heart. Um, I'm hopeful we can celebrate soon. <laughs> one day we will celebrate and one day we will get him baptized. <laughs> no, it, It'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, my last question for you is, um, it's kind of a, have you, or how have you continued to have faith during the pandemic? Cause that's hard too. Um, it, it is hard and it's been very hard. Um, you know, we, it, it, I can't say that we've kept it the whole time. <laughs> it's hard and you know, it's hard to worship through a screen. Yeah. I personally worship through music like that's mm -hmm. and you know you can throw it on the tv but then when you have 800 children here <laughs> and you know like trying to listen to the message and you know all the things um sometimes it's easier just to turn it all off and say screw it we'll try it again next week you know right um, um I have you know because we've been so isolated as a family we have, um, you know, kind of taken turns and I personally have taken lots of drives on the parkway mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> to sit in the Target parking lot just to listen to music and just in those quiet times, I feel like the faith comes back. And right. that God, whether it's through a song or through a random text message that, um, I gotta stop for a second. It's just, it's such a hard year. Um, you know, through a song or, or a random text message that, hey, I'm gonna drop something off on your porch. And it turns out to be your son's favorite pajamas. You know, just, <laughs> just the little things, um, you know, just kind of reminds you that all of this is gonna go away. And it is just all teaching us something. Don't know what it is quite yet, <laughs> but um, it'll all go away. And it um, and we're all learning something 
as hard as it may be. So. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway. Um, I, um, I told Pastor Austin last week, but I've been holding one verse in my heart um, at, during this point of my pandemic journey. I just want to share it with you and our friends again who are watching from Deuteronomy chapter 31. It is the Lord who goes before you. God will be with you. God will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Um, and, and I think, you know, there's a lot of fear and dismay and broken hearts right now. And um, sometimes wondering if, where is God in all of this? And then it's the little moments of grace and the little moments of space <laughs> that we get. <laughs> um, and just as a reminder that God is with us in the midst of this. So absolutely. Oh, Lee, thank you so much for sharing your heart, for sharing your story. Um, and I would say as a added plug, if anyone watching wants to know more about the foster care system, um, the Hollands or the Carrickers are good people to ask. There are lots of children who need homes, um, temporary and forever homes. So, yep. And even if you can't um, foster right now, you can do something, um, yep. you know, respite or even just, you know, if you know a foster family, just kind of reach out because we all feel very lonely right now. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so, much. so much, my friend. And, um, and now let us continue with our worship service. May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. The light shines in the darkness, and, and the, the darkness, darkness has, has not overcome it. it. Thank you. 
In peace, in peace, we pray to you. God, have mercy on us in all. For peace and salvation, we pray to you. God, have mercy on us in all. For peace between nations, for peace between peoples. For us who are gathered to worship and praise you. For all of your servants who live out your gospel. that justice might guide them. For all those who labor in service to others. Grant weather that nourishes all of creation. Watch on our loved ones and keep us from danger. For all the beloved who rest in your mercy. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your peoples the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray.
Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God create or bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks to you.